It's beer and food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. In case you missed it, we just finished filming the brewery to Dr. Van der Coroner, Orient Ale, and Morrison's caramelized onion cheddar cheese video. We paired it, and it was one of the most divine experiences of my life. It really was almost godly. We're moving things on because the Dr. Van der Coroner sent us a well, they sent us about six or seven different beers, some being 750 millilitres of bottles of beautifully presented uh, 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 barrel-aged beer flavoured with bergamot and lime honey. <laughs> I mean, unbelievable, 7.5% ABV. And we're going to be pairing it with, this time, some Morrison's Monty's Chili Cheddar two for four pounds. Um, it's a 170 gram truckle cheddar at Morrison's. Now, this all kind of fell into place by accident. And I mentioned this in the first video. Um, I bought the cheese about two or three weeks ago from Morrison's. It's Christmas season, so they start bringing out delightful little cheeses like this. And then just last week, the Dr. Van der Coroner sent me the beer and I thought to myself, well, I'm pretty sure that would go down really well if I kind of tried to pair it. It may not. It might be a horrific experiment, but there's only one thing we can do and that's find out. So, beer. I don't want to shake this bottle around too much. Now, all of the beers from the Dr. Van der Coroner um, they're blended. Now, I've had the wonderful experience to collaborate with Brewery the Dr. Van der Coroner on a beer called Memoir 4. It's up there sitting on my shelf. Um, I'll show you in a moment. But first of all, I want to show you this beer. Yeah, so it's called Coupe Solil. A special beer for special people. 750 milliliter bottle. There might be a little bit... There certainly was with the first beer, a little bit of a, a spillage on the top, but I always open my beer either over the sink or in my conservatory here where I got hard tiles. Um, so there's going to be no damage done if there is a bit of an overspill. Here we go then. Well, that's perfectly wonderful, isn't it? No overspill with this one. So, brewery the Dr. Van der Coroner, um, the reason why I mention this, oh, look at this delightful looking beer. Look at that. One finger, whitey kind of tan coloured head, good levels of carbonation, deep amber, clear coloured beer. Now what they specialise in, when I collaborated with Brewery to Dr. Van der Coroner, um, you walk around the normal brewery, and then I was with Ron, the owner, um, and he walked to the side of the brewery and he, and he pushed a button. And all of a sudden, this staircase kind of opened up and went down, went down. So the land is flat, it's Holland, Holland, uh, Belgium area. It's right on the border of, of Belgium and Holland. The land is perfectly flat, so you're thinking this is just a brewery on the on, on the flat. But no, they dug out. They dug out a massive cellar. And there's a video on YouTube. Put in brewery the Dr. Van der Coroner um, brewery tour. You'll see me driving a 1970s Beetle, um, having a wonderful time in the cellar. So when I was, when I went down the steps into this cellar, I was greeted by about 60 to 70 different barrels in this cellar. And Ron, the owner of the, of the brewery, will make his way down the stairs each day. Um, he'll brew the beer first upstairs in the brewery. He'll barrel, barrel it all, put it in kind of wooden barrels. And then he'll spend his day blending. He'll have a little taste of one barrel. He'll then walk to the other side of the cellar. He might have another taste of another barrel over there, which may taste vanilla -y or, or or something. Uh, and he'll, with his taste profile, he will blend the beers together in a glass, drink them, and if it works, you'll bottle it. 
it's a wonderful thing blending it's a wonderful thing it's something which i would love to get into myself um so this is the blend this is a blend of maybe two three maybe even four beers wonderful so um without diving in straight away um, let's get into this chili cheese so i'm going to cut the lid off the cheese first of all everybody have, has their kind of own ways of of cutting these cheeses open there we go so you can see get rid of that bit of wax you can see the little bits of chili there in the creamy yellowy cheddar I'm gonna cut there and I'm gonna cut there and then I'm gonna cut a triangle out the back of the cheddar I'm going to remove that piece of wax. I actually did that better than I did the, the, the caramelised onion cheddar. And then I'm going to cut this little piece of cheese out and we're going to share it together on YouTube. One cut, two cut. Get rid of the... That's either chili or wax, but I'm gonna take a chance on this um, wax. So here we have the chili cheddar. There's a mixture of what looks like little bits of green jalapeno and little bits of uh, red chili. Now with the caramelized onion cheddar, um, it smelled very much like caramelized onion. This one smells more like just a milky cheddar, but I'm pretty sure when you bite into it and you bite the chilies, then you're gonna get a little bit of heat from the chilies. So first of all, let's get the aroma on the beer. Oh my goodness me, uh, oh. Lime, lime, I'm sure, I'm sure they mentioned lime. Lime honey, oh my goodness me. Oh, <laughs> lime honey, lime honey, sweetness, malty biscuitiness. Oh, let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, wow, wow. Oh, that is, um, oh, that is on point. I'm almost tasting like, uh, like a leatheriness, like, like chewing down on a leather apron or something like, not the, why would you want to chew down on a leather apron? But it just feels like, it feels very leathery, organic, malty, limey, loads of honey. A little bit of sourness in it as well. This one's got a real kick of sourness, hence my kind of, my, my brow and my eyes. Forehead and my eyes rather than my brow. It's a real kick of carbonation. Wow. Wow, that pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. The lime. I'm gonna say it, I'm just gonna come out and say it because, you know, we're honest here on the channel. The lime is a pretty particular flavor. I think you're gonna have to be a lover of lime to really grasp and enjoy this beer. It's got a slight kind of balsamic a slight balsamic taste to me with some kind of sharp lime and again I'll say it again you've got to be a lover of balsamic vinegar and lime to be able to enjoy this beer if you're not a lover of those two things then you may not enjoy this beer and that's made me just standing back and just saying hey we're always honest we are always honest on the channel Where is the Orient Ale? 
had a kind of a wonderful kind of creamy, rich, malty backbone to it, nice mouthfeel. This is more a very refreshing, a very sparkling, refreshing, very drinkable beer. Not much mouthfeel at all. And then you're hit with kind of almost like pickles and limes and balsamic vinegar. It's an interesting brew. I think, I think I've chosen right by this chili cheese, you know. I think the chili cheese is really gonna, like a chili and lime. That's why I put it together. A chili and lime might maybe combination. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. I was just enjoying the creamy richness of this cheese. And then I got a hit with a massive mouthful of oh, spicy chili. Wow. Mmm. Lovely. Right. Mouthful of spicy chili cheddar and a mouthful of beer. This could be one of the most amazing experiences of my life or it could be one of the worst experiences of my life. Let's find out. Break the cheese down on my molars. Break it down, break it down. Broke it down, mouthful of beer. <laughs> right. Oh, <laughs> what an experience. What an experience that is. Oh, right. Do you know why I think people get grumpy in life? Do you know why I think people get grumpy and old and moany in life? I think they're not pushing their brain enough. They're not kind of like opening new avenues in their brain. They're not like sending their brain into overdrive. I have just sent my brain and my taste buds into overdrive. I have just made my brain go, what on earth are you doing to me? And I love that. I love that because look, I haven't even got to look in a mirror. I can tell I'm smiling. I'm smiling. I'm doing weird and wacky stuff for my brain. I'm eating hot chili cheese mixed with a, a lime and honey infused barrel aged beer. And my, my, you know, it's not like I'm eating cheese on toast every day or it's not like I'm just having bolognese on a Wednesday because bolognese is a Wednesday night. And we have to have bolognese on a Wednesday because that's what we do. You, you, people get stuck in a rut. People get stuck in a rut. You know, fish and chip Fridays, you know. Or uh, let's just grab something quick because I've got to take my kid to karate at seven o'clock. And I just want to grab some food quick and it's all a bit dull and it's all a bit boring. Honestly, stop being dull and boring and spice up your life. I think somebody sang about that, didn't they, once upon a time? Literally, spice up your life. Make your brain learn new things. Make your brain, make your taste buds, make, push the boundaries. Push the boundaries of life. Push the boundaries, because we're not here long. We're really not here long. Why shouldn't I stand here at 10, 10 20 a.m. in the morning with a chunk of chili cheese in my hand and some barrel-aged beer? Why shouldn't I? We're not year long. Let's do this. Let's do this together. Mmm. <laughs> that's crazy. I bit down on some chili that time, a really big piece of chili in the cheese. 
and I can instantly feel its heat smashing me in the face. You know when you watch Rocky 2? Remember Rocky 2? And he's being absolutely pummeled in the early rounds by Apollo. And he's like, rah, 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 and he's like throwing him, you know, his face is like splattered all over the ring. I kind of feel like that. I kind of feel like I'm in full Rocky 2 mode where I'm like barely standing on my feet and the cheese is battering me to one side and the beer is battering me to the other side. And I'm still here. I'm still saying, I'm like, don't throw that towel in, you know. Don't throw that towel in. <laughs> it's like, it's a wonderful thing to do. And I can stand here sometimes and review really boring beers. And I'm just in the, I'm just like, like, oh yeah, this beer tastes of malt and this beer tastes of hops and this beer. And I'm like, I'm in my mind, I'm screaming. I'm like really bored. I'm like, ah, oh. you know, it's just another IPA. And I mean that with the greatest of respect because I love IPA, but there are times on the channel because I review beer every day where I'm like, I need something really interesting to happen on the channel. And this is it. This is honestly probably the most interesting thing I've done in a long time on the channel. Oh, here we go again. It's like, in, no. Oh, I tell you what happens, which, I, which I've forgotten to mention. Well, I've just not got round to it yet because so much is going on. Is the cheese... When you put the beer in your mouth, because there's lots of fats in the cheese, the beer, as soon as it hits your mouth, is like an explosion of carbonation. It's like in your mouth. And you're like, your eyeballs are rattling around in your head. And, oh, I just, brilliant. I'm gonna hold it up. Get yourself some chili cheese. Get yourself a bottle of Coupe de Sol. And legally, legally, you don't even have to break the law. Legally, send your brain into overdrive. Oh, one of the best experiences I've ever had on this channel. What a day. What a morning. Oh. Boom. Love it. Absolutely love it. Oh. <laughs> I don't know whether I'm coming or going. I'm going to rate this Monty's Chili Cheese from our local supermarket, Morrison's. 10 out of 10. Coupe de Sol. One of the most mesmerizing beers I've ever had in my life. I started off in the beer review saying I think you like, you've got to like balsamic vinegar and lime to really kind of understand and enjoy this beer. Buy a bottle anyway, even if you don't like chili and lime. Oh, no, actually, even if you don't like lime and honey, I was meant to say. Um, even if you don't like lime and honey, buy this beer anyway, if you possibly can. And buy yourself a block of chili cheese. And put it all together. And let your mind do crazy things to your eyeballs. Um, I like the beer enough to give it a 10 out of 10 also. So all in all, cheese, 10 out of 10. Beer, 10 out of 10. I hope you liked the video. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.